What's up everybody, it's Jake the Barber and I'm here with my boy Ed. And today we're gonna do a nice transformation. So we're gonna take this and we're gonna turn it into a nice gentleman's cut. So first thing I'm gonna do is wet the hair down. And I'm gonna make my blueprint. So I'm gonna find my part. How long has it been since you got a haircut, Ed? Six months. Six months, okay, so we're six month mark here. It's pretty long. So I'm just gonna find my blueprint here. I don't want it to be too sharp, but I also wanna make sure I'm cutting what's supposed to be cut and not cutting what's not supposed to be cut. Okay, so now that the hair is parted and separated, I know what I want to cut. So I'm going to take a three and I want to keep it really low because I'm going to use a lot of shears for this haircut. So I'm just going to go in here and I'm going to use my comb. I'm using my comb as a guideline. All right, so now I'm just gonna go in with my two. Since I removed all this bulk with my three, I'm just gonna taper in the sideburn to the beard, um, and I'm gonna taper the back out a little bit, and I'm gonna leave room to shape all this up. So I'm gonna have a really clean finish before I go in with my shears. So I'm gonna take my two. I want the sideburns to taper into the beard as natural as possible. Since we're really not going for a super sharp look and more of a gentleman's classic cut. I don't want it to be super tapered and faded out like a blowout or a taper fade. Very, very lightly if I do. So now I'm gonna get my one. Now remember, I went in with a two to about here. So I'm gonna open my one just a little bit. Try to blend it to the beard as much as possible. I'm gonna go downward because this hair, this um, calic here is growing up. 
So in order to take that down, I have to cut downward. Then I'll turn it around. I'm just really lightly tapering this out. Open it gradually. Just use my corners. I'm just going to take this neck area down to stubble. So I'm going to close my clipper all the way. Open it a little bit as I go very, very lightly. I want this to just be a very modest taper. Alright, so now I'm just going to do some bulk removal. So I'm going to do clipper over comb. So I'm going to go in, lift the hair up, get my clipper on the edge of my comb, and just be careful not to cut into the hair. So you can see what needs to be cut. I'll polish it off with the shears after. This just saves me a lot of energy. I have to cut all day, so I like to conserve as much energy as possible. So instead of going in with the shears over and over again, I can simply just pick the hair up with the comb, slide the clipper right over. Position the head so you can see what you're doing. And same thing. Now you have to be very careful with this technique because if you go in and chop this, you're going to see this. It's going to show. Alright, so before I go in with the shears, I'm going to shape this haircut up. So I'm going to start with the neck area. I don't want to follow this pattern. Alright, so now that the clipper works out of the way, just wet the head down again like I did to begin with. Um, and I'm just going to start right here on the right side. Take some length off. Um, and then before I finish it, I want to throw some texture in there. Um, you know, just for the end to style it with product, it always helps if there's some texture after you take some length off. Um, because the longer hair is supported by shorter hair. I'm just going to run through the top, lose some length, not too much. Ed said he likes it a bit longer on top, but I don't want to have it look like an undercut where it's hanging over the side. I want it to be a nice 
smooth transition. So now I'm just going to run through the top again, and I'm just going to point cut. Bigger sections of texture. I don't want to go in perfectly. I just want it to be a texturized haircut. So I'm going to go on an angle. All right, so now I'm going to do sheer over comb. Similar to what I did with the clipper over comb. I'm just going to finish this off so you can see how it's dark right here. All right, so now the hair is cut. I'm gonna take my Four Vices Styling Bomb, get a nice size glob, and I wanna evenly distribute it on my hands. I just want to take some sea salt spray, open this bad boy up. And just mist it on. And that way I'll give a nice beachy finish, nice natural dry finish. And also I can style it when it's wet and it'll dry really nice. All right, so now for this cut, what I like to do is I'll take my comb right above the part and I'll start in the middle, the back to middle, comb down, and then I'll take the front and that way it has something to balance on, a shelf if you will. So then I just comb the front over and then I'll use my hands just to create that wavy finish and not super perfect with the comb. I like to create a little bit of an edge to it. Cool. There you have it. It looks awesome. Woohoo! Before we see that after spin, why don't you remember to head over to beardbrand.com Time for you to invest in yourself. Trust me, you are worth it. Well, fellas, this is goodbye. Possibly, perhaps. Not really gonna show up on this channel anymore. I'm over on Beard Brand Alliance. That's where all of our grooming and self-improvement videos are going. If you dig those videos, head on over there. Otherwise, just stick around and watch more barbershop videos.